What's happening my fish guys? Welcome back to another Fish Guy Chris video. Hope all you guys are having a freaking fantastic day. A fantastic weekend of having a great one, man. I love the holidays. December just makes everything so happy, you know? Just freaking love the holidays. Speaking of holidays, I'm gonna talk to you guys of what I think I'm gonna get for Christmas this year out by the dock. I think I'm gonna pull in clutch for you guys. I'm gonna get some really cool stuff for pretty much this channel and for you for Christmas this year. That's what I'm, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. So I'll talk to you guys about what exactly I'm thinking about. Once we go out to the shark infested dock, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But we're by the pond today, guys. The saltwater pond, it's coming along great. In the last video, we caught beautiful grunts for the pond. Absolutely cool fish. So they're in there. They're, everything's hiding because I put them in yesterday. So they're hiding in these rocks. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure they're either in there or there, obviously. But I'm thinking now, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I should definitely put this rock in the saltwater pond just because it'll give a, give them another place to hide. So I think I'm going to do that um, in a later video. But I'm definitely going to be putting this rock in the saltwater pond because two is not enough. If we're going to have a lot of fish in here, we got to put some more rock structure in there. But the pond is coming along great. I cannot wait till I actually get some real badass monsters in here. Right now, the fish that I'm putting in are just... You know, little fish to get the pond going. I got the grunts in there just to get the pond going. I got some damsels in there, some crabs. Just, you know, we're doing the startup fish. And today, we're hunting for some more startup fish in a trap that I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. But first, I gotta shout out Kaylee Cotton. She says, you need to have a quarantine pond for the fish from the wild. That's how, that's to keep your fish safe. Love the videos. Guys, I think that's a absolutely fantastic idea. And hear me out. I already have my freshwater tank. I already have my big turtle pond, right? That's for my freshwater stuff. But what I'm thinking thinking is why don't we turn this into a saltwater quarantine pond for new fish that come to the to come to the house so we put all of our saltwater fish in here first and then we can move them to the big pond once we know we're safe once we know that they're safe i'm thinking that's a terrific idea guys 2000 likes on this video and i'll make this pond completely saltwater for salt for little baby saltwater fish or fish that we catch from the wild that we can put in here first quarantine them so we can move them to the big pond and we know 100% that everything's going to be safe let me know if you guys think that's a good idea i personally love this idea i think that'd be Terrific. I think I'm gonna make this little 300 gallon a saltwater quarantine pond for a bunch of fish as we get them We can transfer them over to the big one. I think that's a terrific idea So 2,000 likes on this video if you guys want to see it I will make it happen. Let me know by dropping a like on this video terrific idea So guys we started in the warehouse today because I just want to give you a quick glimpse of the pond But we're actually gonna be focusing all of our energy and our attention at that fish guy shark infested dock Let's get it. All right guys We are officially outside officially by the shark infested dock baby and that's what we're focusing on today We're gonna be trapping my dock for some really cool fish because I've been seeing a bunch underneath my dock. And in my last video, I know I showed you guys that barracuda I threw in. Check out the remains. Only the head is left. That little white dot is just the skull. That's just barely the tip of the skull of the barracuda. So something big came and ate that overnight. Something very big came. I'm 100% I'm sure that it was that eight foot nurse shark that I saw yesterday in yesterday's video. So as I'm trapping this video today, oh my God, there's a, what is that? What is that? What the heck happened there? Is that a jack that died? Guys, I think a jack died and washed up right there. Maybe that's a mullet. That is weird. It just washed up on the side of my canal. It is super low tide, perfect ideal conditions for doing a fish trap today. And uh, that's gonna be just absolutely beautiful for us. We got some free chum, absolute free chum right there. I don't know what happened to that fish. Maybe I should get on the paddleboard and investigate, but that could be some free chum. That could be a free bait, honestly, for that shark if we see him today. And there's a pretty good chance that we do see him today because he's around. Clearly, he ate that barracuda head. But today, guys, we're not using just any trap. I am decided I'm not gonna use the basic trap today. I am going to make my own very big fish trap today. This is what we're gonna use. I'm gonna cut a big hole in this, load it up with scallops. I'm telling you, the scallops are the secret Fish Guy Chris weapon. I'm gonna load scallops in here, make a big hole with a knife right there in the middle, put it down on the bottom, and then pull it up as fast as I can. I guarantee you, we can catch some stuff in here. I know in the last trap I did, I cut a lionfish, and if a lionfish does swim in here, there's no way he's gonna swim out because they swim super slow. So as I pull it up, I could catch a lionfish for the saltwater pond. I know I didn't wanna have one in there, but maybe I'll do it for you guys. So we're gonna make that trap in just a second, but I wanna talk to you guys about what I'm thinking I'm gonna give for Christmas. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get, first of all, I'm gonna get the 24 seven underwater camera. There's a giant needlefish right there. What's up, bro? Having a good day? FGC dog, that's my boy. I think, I'm thinking I'm definitely gonna get the 24 seven camera under my dock. That's a guarantee. I definitely have to get that for you guys. You guys would love that. And I think it would, we would capture some really cool stuff. Like if I had that last night, we could see what ate that barracuda. We could see that nurse shark swim by and what ate that barracuda. So I think that would be really freaking fantastic for you guys. So wait a couple more weeks for Christmas. I think I'm gonna get it. Now, another thing I'm gonna get for Christmas. This is the big gift. This is my big gift, baby. I'm gonna get for myself. Ready? I'm gonna get two huge algae 
waterproof underwater lights that are gonna light my whole dock up at night. It's gonna be huge. I'm gonna put one actually on the left side over here. This is the side we don't really hang out at. I'm gonna put one right there on the left side of the dock. So we're gonna get both sides. I'm gonna get two of them, huge. They're super bright, no algae will grow on them. So I don't need to worry about that. So they're gonna stay bright 24 seven and one right here by the shark infested dock where we really, really catch all of our fish, which is right here. So two big lights, two giant lights at my dock and a 24 seven camera. So we can see at night, we can see what eats our chum and we can see all the awesome fish that swims by. Give me a couple weeks. Once Christmas rolls around, I'm gonna be balling with this dock, baby. I'm gonna have two lights and a freaking camera. It's gonna be epic. So stay tuned for that. Cannot wait to show you guys once I get them. All right, now that I talked to you guys about the dock, what's coming soon, the, the great awesome ideas I got coming for this dock. Now let's hop into building this fish trap. Hopefully it's not as hard as it, as it looks because it looks pretty hard. To cut that plastic with a knife, not easy. So hopefully I can get it done. Man, I am really confused as to what happened to that little fish over there. It looks like a jack from the bottom, but it looks like a, a jack wouldn't just die like that. That's super weird. I think I might use him as bait. So let's, uh, let's get this trap going. Okay. Now let's, this is really hard plastic to cut through. I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's just see if it works. Okay, it's not that bad. We could do it. I tried to get the, the thinnest of plastic, the bin that was the most thin. That's what I tried to get at Target. Crumbling this thing. I hear some fish jumping out there. I might have to throw that lure around a little bit. Whoa, this is actually pretty easy. It's not that bad. I thought it was gonna be way harder than this. Hopefully I don't cut my fingers though. Guys, there's a bunch of fish jumping out there. Oh my God, huge school of mullet. Huge school of mullet right there. I'm definitely throwing that lure after this. That is absolutely perfect. This is gonna be a terrific fish trap. Okay, so here's the process of the fish trap. The fish are gonna swim through this hole, okay? And it's gonna be loaded with scallops. I cut, I cut the hole kind of low so they could see it and just get in there really quick. And then I'm gonna pull it up as fast as I can, see what we can catch in this thing, okay? I'm stoked, I know we're gonna catch something good, so just, we gotta be patient though. So let's load this thing up with some scallops, baby. The secret fish guy Chris weapon, dude, I know I'm gonna have to patent this, but uh, scallops are the way to go, dude. Used to think shrimp was king, no way. Scallops, super smelly, man, that gets the fish going. I'm a scallops guy, what do you want me to do? Okay, so let's just jump, let's just dump a couple in here. We don't need to go crazy. Perfect, we got about 10, maybe 12 scallops in here. Two, four, six, eight, 10, exactly 10 scallops. As they sink to the bottom, as this thing sinks to the bottom and defrosts, that is when all the smells are gonna come out and those fish are really gonna start getting in there and wanting to eat it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Look at this needle right there. That's a needle, that's a big needle fish. I think I might have to catch one for the saltwater pond too. Let me know if I should do that in the comments. Should I catch a giant needle fish from a saltwater pond? It's literally a saltwater gar. I think I need to do it. So let's get the, uh, let's get the fish trap in there. All right, y'all, I also cut a hole in the top of the trap so I can put a rope through it, make a knot, and then we can pull this thing up at any depth, baby, at any depth. Stick this through here, boom. Now we just have to tie a big knot so that we can actually retrieve our trap when we set it. Super easy. There's so many fish jumping out there, guys. I have to do this. All right, go check it out. Super easy. See that? Now I can pull the trap up at any depth, baby. That's how we do it in the Fish Guy Chris house, baby. All right, here we go. Load this thing up. See how it's loaded like that? That is exactly what we want. I'm gonna put it right by the jet skis, right underneath the jet ski dock. I think that's where we're gonna make the best bang for our buck is right underneath the jet ski dock. I always see a ton of different fish that live actually under there because they think it's safe. So maybe we can get them out of there, go into this trap and catch a ton of stuff. Here we go. Trap is officially going in, baby. Here we go. All right, now let me just show you guys really quick what I'm, what I'm gonna be doing here. So here's the trap. It is slowly gonna sink because it's filling up with water right now. So it's slowly gonna sink down to the bottom. We're gonna leave it there. I'm gonna probably leave it there for a good 30, 45 minutes. I'm gonna start throwing around this lure because I'm seeing a lot of different blowups happening around here. So let's sit tight. Let's see what happens with this trap. Hopefully we catch something good. I need some RIPs in the chat for that guy. I mean, he's just so sad. Let's get some RIP random fish on the wall in the chat, in the comments. All right, let's see what we can catch. All right. Now, as that trap's fermenting, I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod because I think I think you know what has to be done, okay? I know you guys saw me catch a jack in my last video on the iPhone, okay? But I never caught a jack on the real camera. So I gotta get it in HD 4K for you guys. We're using this little thing. This is the money maker. I'm telling you guys it's good. I'm gonna just throw a couple casts. If I don't catch anything, we'll try in the next video, okay? You gotta give me some time. One of these days, I will catch it on 4K. There is absolutely hundreds of catfish coming out from the deep right now to try to, catch, to, try to get into that fish trap. I'm li literally watching them all try to swim into the fish trap right now. It's crazy. I caught some seaweed, still a catch. All right, 
no bites today. It's a little bit dead out here because it's low tide. There's not many uh, fish in the canal right now. I'm telling you, one of these days, you guys are gonna be surprised. Remember that tarpon that swam right under me as I was chumming the dock? Remember that? If you guys haven't seen that, it's in one of my videos. A huge tarpon swam right under me and I didn't even notice. One of these days, guys, I'm telling you, I'm gonna put a 50 pound tarpon on this dock with one of these. I'm telling you, give me some time. All right, guys, it has been some time. I'm gonna pull up the trap. I got my net here just in case there is fish in there. I can run them to my bucket over there. So let's do it. Here we go, ladies and gents. Looks very good. It's all the way on the bottom. All right, ready? I'm gonna pull it. Three, two, one. Hopefully it doesn't break. Hopefully it doesn't come off. Oh, no. No way. Oh my God. No way. It broke. No way. No freaking way. You guys are not gonna believe what I caught. No way. No freaking way. I did not think I was gonna catch one of these. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember my last video, the one I posted just before this, I said there was an exotic trigger hanging around my dock. Look at what I just caught. No way. That is the exact exotic trigger that was at my dock and I caught a puffer. I caught a puffer, gotta give show time to the puffer. Oh my God, let me get the puffer out first. Holy cow. Okay, look, the lid broke off. So I just had to just sprint to grab the bottom. <sighs> Thank God that I grabbed it in time because it was sinking quickly. Holy moly. Thank God. <sighs> Okay, so we caught this puffer right here. This one's a little bit too big. I'm thinking I'm gonna set a fish trap. Let me know in the comments if I should do it. This one's too big. I want literally an army of like 10 baby puffer fish in my pond. That would be so freaking cool. Like like literally three inches. And I see a bunch of three inches down there. I'm surprised that they didn't, look, there's one right there. Swimming around right there. That is like a three inch puffer. So that's what we're looking for. This guy's more like seven inches. So we're gonna let this guy go. Oh my God, guys, I'm stoked. Look, even this guy, even the FGC planes and birds. Even the FGC plane wants to get a sneak peek of this one, dude. Look at this. That is so freaking cool, dude. I cannot believe I just caught that. That is so cool. Guys, oh my God, should I put him in the pond? I think I have to put him in the pond. The thing about triggers, look, he, he, is, he has blue spots on his fins and a green eye. That is so freaking cool. The thing about triggers putting in ponds, sometimes they don't do well. So I'm gonna have to keep a sharp eye on him. And if he's not doing well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him back in, in the canal. But if he's doing well in there, that is gonna be such a score. Guys, this is a huge trigger that the store would probably sell for like 300 bucks okay this thing is awesome look at that guy right there caught in the freaking fgc fish trap on the scallops guys the scallops i would have never caught this thing on shrimp dude the scallops are so clutch look at this guy he's got really really monster teeth so i gotta be careful but look oh my god he's feisty one feisty one look at that that is so cool dude. that is so unbelievably cool dude Oh my gosh, the camera got all wet and my face did too. All right, I'm gonna scoop him out with this net and put him in a bucket. Let me get a bucket really quick. So if I could just recap for you guys what we've caught at this dock, this is by far the best dock on YouTube. That's why I need those lights and that underwater camera. This is the best dock. I have the best dock on YouTube by far. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because we have caught an exotic trigger, a lionfish, barracuda, jacks. I've caught snook from the dock. There's tarpon all around my dock, giant nurse sharks, stingrays. We have literally caught it all. And that just shows that there is a million of different kinds of things out of my dock. I mean, at this point, who knows what else we're gonna catch. And I'm gonna keep doing these videos because I know you guys love them. I'm gonna keep fishing my dock for you guys because seriously, who knows what we can catch here. I guarantee you we can catch a baby shark here. So hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on because we are balling right now. This guy, I'm gonna put him in the in the bucket right here. I just got a bucket filled up with water right there. I am going to scoop him out now. He is big, he is a big boy. Look at that guys. That is nuts, dude. I'm gonna try to get him on the, let me try to zoom in on him. Look at the colors on him. I don't know if you guys can tell, but he's got blue up on top. He's got blue on bottom and his eye just changed colors. It, it was green. Look at that trigger. Let's freaking go. All right, let's try to get him in there without him biting me. Let's go. Look at that, that's a monster. That's a monster trigger, let's go. All right, here he goes, here he goes. In the bucket, in the bucket. Here we go. Let's go, baby. What an absolute successful day. All right, let's 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 go into the salt water, let's go into the fish warehouse by the saltwater pond and let's just see how he'll do in there. That is. So exciting, let's get in there. Man, guys, I am having the absolute best time. Ever since I got this saltwater pond, I mean, I have been having the best time filming these videos. Like, I never would have thought I would have caught that trigger. I think, I, I tried to catch him yesterday and he was elusive. Like, I could not catch him. I, ca I tried to catch him with a rod and reel and I could not catch him. Like, literally, the video I filmed, I posted on Friday of me catching fish, the grunts for the jet ski. I literally, tr I went back to my dock, I told you guys about it, that I tried to catch the trigger, elusive. And today, the freaking fish trap catches him 
Let's go. I put an aerator on him because um, I acclimated him to the pond. So I'm gonna see how he does today, okay? I'm gonna keep an eye on him, but if he's not doing good, I don't know. We're just, I'm just gonna keep an uh, really close eye on him because I know triggers can be really finicky. That's why I really want this to be a quarantine tank right here. I think this would be perfect. I think I'm gonna do that next week, guys. If you guys want it to happen, I think it's a really, really smart idea where th that trigger could have gone right to the quarantine tank and I know that when I put him in there, everything would be safe. So we're gonna see how he does. I know triggers are really just like finicky, you know? I, every trigger I've gotten has always been finicky. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep a sharp eye on him, see how he does. Now let's get him in the pond. This is actually awesome, guys. Here we go. You guys got a good look at him out, look at him out there. Let's get him in the net here. Okay, here he is, guys. I'm gonna put him in by hand because that's how I like doing it for the, all the other fish. So let me grab him. I know he's gonna freak out a bit, but he's got some chompers on him, man. What a cool fish that this is, man. So cool. Look at that top fin on him. Look at that. Look at the teeth on him. He's got some serious chompers, man. That is so sick. All right, let's put him in the pond. I'm gonna watch him carefully and see how he does. Here he goes. Three, two, one. Let's go, buddy! Swimming down! That is so sick, guys! Let's go! Oh! Okay, he's gonna get used to his surroundings in a second. Guys, we have officially got a trigger fish in the pond. Guys, we officially have grunts, some damsels, and a big exotic trigger fish for the pond. I am absolutely stoked. I'm stoked to see what this becomes. Hopefully, I'm gonna keep a sharp eye on absolutely every fish in here, see if everyone's doing really good. If they start not doing well, I, I'm gonna have to set up the quarantine tank and start treating all the fish, which I think is already a good idea. I think I'm gonna make that happen. But what an absolute epic day today. Absolute banger of a day. I freaking love you guys. Caught an exotic trigger fish. Man, I feel good. I'm just gonna end it here because this is absolutely epic. I wanna get my, uh, get my eyes on this fish at all times. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for what we're gonna catch next. Leave some suggestions in the comments on what we should try to catch next. I'm absolutely stoked. See you in the next one, guys.